Hi everyone, welcome to the session. Today we are going to see transformation matrix. Okay, so if you want to transform uh, our uh, vectors from one vector space to the other or from one base to the other, we can use the transformation matrix. So consider the vector spaces V and W and the basis B, B equal to the ordered set of bases b1, b2, etc., bn for the vector space v and c is equal to c1, c2, etc., cm for the vector space w, okay. So, these are the two bases for the vector spaces v and w and the linear mapping phi from v to w is defined like this phi of bj is equal to alpha 1 j c1 plus alpha 2 j c2 plus etc alpha m j c m so it's uh, we are representing the linear mapping from one vector space to the other as a linear combination of uh, the alpha values and the base vectors okay and these alpha values are called the coordinates and where a j is from 1 to n and this linear combination can be rewritten like this a phi into c so a phi is the transformation matrix we are using so a phi is the representation of transformation matrix from uh, v to w the transformation the transformation matrix a phi is an m by n matrix where a phi of i j is equal to alpha i j okay and why it is m by n means uh, this is the number of uh, basis vectors in w and this is the number of basis vectors in the uh, vector space v okay so we can say that these are the dimensions of our vector spaces m is the dimension of uh, w vector space w and n is the dimension of vector space v so the dimension of uh, transformation matrix will be m by n okay and that means these alpha values are uh, written in the matrix form and that is called the transformation matrix. So we can take an example. Uh, let's consider the vector space V and the vector space W. Okay. And uh, we have a matrix X in the vector space V and this X can be transformed to W uh, as Y. Okay. So in W we call it as Y. Okay, and this x can be represented in a vector form, and uh, similarly y can also represent in a vector form. The coordinate values can be represented here, and um, this y is is equal to phi of x, or we can say we can call phi of x as we can call this y as phi of x. That means that when we transform x from the vector space v to w, we get y. Okay, that's the meaning. Then uh, we can, uh, how do we find this y, uh, the vector y, how do we find the vector y? We can uh, apply the uh, transformation like this, a phi into uh, x, the vector x. Okay, phi is actually transformation from uh, v to w. Okay, transformation from v to w is represented in uh, phi and that is represented using the matrix form a phi. Okay. And if you want to convert any matrix, any vector in uh, one space and we want to convert it into the other space, you have to use the corresponding transformation matrix. Okay. So, this uh, multiplication, this product will give you the vector in the other vector space. For example, consider the homomorphism phi from V to W and the ordered basis B is equal to B1, B2, B3 of V. And C is equal to C1, C2, C3, C4 of W. Uh, these are the um, uh, uh, transformation uh, functions given here. Mapping functions are defined like this. Phi of B1. Uh, so, B1, B2, uh, B3 are the basis vectors of um, uh, vector space V. Okay. So, phi of uh, B1 is uh, defined like this. C1 minus C2 plus C3, C3 minus C4 
okay and c1 c2 c3 and c4 are the vectors basis vectors of w okay so these are the three transformation functions we use for transforming uh, the basis vectors from one vector space to the other so this is the same thing we can use to uh, transform any vector from v to w okay and how do we form this uh, uh, afi or the transformation matrix out of it okay so the transformation matrix for the same function will be like this okay so each column represents the alpha values or the uh, coordinate uh, values corresponding to uh, b1 b2 and uh, b3 transformations okay so uh, for the first column we take the coefficients of these uh, okay so 1 minus 1 3 and minus 1 so that is being written in the first column okay then for the second column 2 1 7 and 2 okay 2 1 7 and 2 okay that's there then third one 3 1 4 uh, sorry first part is 0 0 3 1 4 0 3 1 4 so we got the um, transformation matrix for this transformation okay and uh, assume we have three vector spaces v w and x and in v we have a, a, a space like this okay we have vectors we have taken um, 400 vectors in v okay so that 400 vectors includes uh, the uh, origin okay so it is like this um, and in the second vector space w we have to get the rotated image of these vectors okay rotation uh, so we apply rotation then we get it in the uh, vector space w and if we apply a uh, shearing we get uh, the image in the vector space x okay so whatever vectors we get in w will be uh, a 45 degree rotated vectors from v okay so we that is w and uh, x is the sheared vectors of uh, v okay. then uh, for each transformation for this rotation as well as for shearing we have to define different transformation function matrices okay so for this transformation for transforming from v to w for this rotation by 45 degree the transformation matrix is like this cos 45 or cos pi by 4 minus sin by pi by 4 then sin pi by 4 cos pi by 4 okay that is the transformation matrix to transform from v to w and similarly for transforming from v to x we have another transformation matrix a2 is equal to 1 by 2 3 minus 1 1 minus 3 okay so that means that uh, if you have any vector on v and we want to transform it into w we have to uh, multiply that vector with the this a1 okay and if you want to transform it into x multiply it with a2 okay and the multiplication order is like this a5 into our vector okay so you should follow that form okay a1 into x and uh, for transformation psi from v to x uh, the transformation is a2 into x cap so we have to use the different transformation matrix for different transformations so for example we are taking the first two one v and w assume we have uh, we had we have taken the vector x and that represents the corner of this uh, entire uh, subspace or the subset okay out of this 400 vectors i have taken this uh, corner one and uh, it's uh, uh, coordinate positions are actually 10 10 okay so x is uh, x is uh, vector representation is 10 10 and i want to transform it into w what happens uh, y cap we have to find out where we get the y for the transformed vector of x okay we have to multiply a1 into x so 1 by 2 1 by root 2 1 minus 1 1 1 into 10 10 okay so this is actually uh, uh, this uh, cos 45 uh, cos 45 equal to sine uh, 
45 is equal to 1 by root 2. So, we have used that in the A1 uh, matrix, okay, the transformation matrix and we get it like this. So, we have taken out root 2 out of this vector. So, the remaining will be 1 minus 1, 1, 1, okay, into 10. And what we get, it is 1 by root 2, 0, 20. It will be like 0, 20 root 2, okay. And where it will be? Uh, it will be this position okay so that means that we have rotated this vector 45 degree and clockwise direction okay so this corner will reach the y-axis okay that's what we got it here so it's the anti-clockwise uh, rotation so linear transformation applied here is anti-clockwise rotation similarly we can do uh, stretching and reflection okay so instead of uh, this uh, okay this um, uh, we can apply this shearing also uh, similarly you can apply uh, for x uh, so you take the same x over here and try to apply uh, the shearing okay and uh, check whether which uh, uh, which point you get here or which vector you get here in this uh, third vector space okay so in order to find out that you can uh, use a2 into uh, x okay and what is a2 a2 is 1 by 2 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 into 10 10 okay find out and you will get a point somewhere here okay so that is the kind of sharing we applied So that's all about uh, transformation for so for every transformation we have to use different uh, transformation functions okay if you have uh, uh, if you want to transform from one basis to the other you have to use uh, one uh, transformation fun matrix okay uh, that means inside the same vector uh, space if you have uh, two bases b1 and uh, b2 two basis set you have and if you want to transform from one uh, basis to the other basis, then also you have to apply some transformation function. Okay, so that will be different uh, transformation function. And if you want to transform from uh, uh, V to W, uh, we have a C1 vector space C1 over here. If you want to do this transformation, you will have uh, another transformation uh, matrix. Okay, so these two are different. This transformation and this transformation uh, matrices are different. So for every transformation, uh, every kind of transformation, you have to do the, uh, you have to write the different transformation matrices. Okay, so that's all about the uh, transformation matrix. For the summary, we have seen the transformation matrix, which is made out of um, the coordinate vectors. Okay, so Fi can be, uh, transformation matrix Fi can be written as alpha 1, alpha 2, etc., alpha n. So this alpha, these are the, coordinates okay and this coordinate values changes according to basis okay ba according to the basis we take okay then uh, we have seen the linear transformations uh, applied like rotation stretching reflection and uh, translation and out of this we have used uh, the rotation and the stretching or uh, shearing shearing um, the transformation function is given in the example okay and reflection means uh, if you have a xy axis if you have uh, a set of vectors over here and the reflection over x axis means you consider x axis as a mirror and what will be the mirror image we get okay something like this okay so that is the uh, reflection it is reflection on x axis and if you want to take the reflection on y axis, consider y as a mirror and what is the mirror image. Okay, that is reflection. Mm, then for reflection, we have to define another uh, transformation matrix. For stretching, we have to do another transformation matrix. For rotation, uh, clockwise or anti clockwise, we have to have uh, different transformation matrices. And similarly translation translation means we change the position that means if you have the uh, image over here or the vectors over here if you want to translate further away from the y-axis okay that means uh, it, it is uh, till 10 point 10 here you want to uh, shift it to 30th position so uh, this is translation 
you are changing only the position but not the uh, but not uh, the you know, size or anything else okay so the translation may be on the x direction or on the y direction or on both okay so that is the changing the position that's all that is translation okay, this, these are different uh, linear transformations uh, we can apply okay so that is all about uh, transformation matrices